great debate about housing affordability, the release of land, the lack of land, or is there not enough land, continues in the industry. Now this debate is going to go on for years to come. Now of course there's a push to try and get the population growth up in regional areas. But that's not going to happen without one major investment in this country, and it's called infrastructure. There's a lack of infrastructure, and that is not going to push the population out to the regional areas. Have a look at these comments from Terry Ryder from Hot Spot. There's a bucket of land available, with local councils eager to facilitate new development. The Wodonga Council has just published plans for a new town of 35,000 to cater for demand over the next 40 years. An increase of 35,000 over that period of time is a significant increase. It's about 30% above the current population in that area. Nonetheless, let's have a look at the top 30 cities in the country. Sydney comes in at 4.6 million, Melbourne 4.1, Brisbane just above 2 million, Adelaide comes in fifth at 1.2 million. Now look at what happens here. The next largest city is the Gold Coast with half the population at 600,000. In 10th position, you have the Sunshine Coast, half the population again at 254,000. Now if we look down to number 17 at 107,000, Albury Wodonga. So as you can see from those figures, after the top five capital cities, there's a massive drop in population in the regional areas. So not enough is being done to try and grow those regional areas. Now, it's not land that's the issue, there's plenty of land. The problem out there is there's not enough forward thinking. I'm Iggy Damiani, I'll see you next week.